Okay, y'all. So y'all know I'm on my day two of my vlog. This is my homegirl, Samuel, South Carolina. Oh yes, we tight, baby. Thanks. So we was in here. Got the Carter. Carter. Keep going you. down. <laughs> I ain't trying to get copyrighted, bro. Thanks. But we were talking about the R. Kelly case. Mm -hmm. And she made some valid points today about the parents, they should take fault for her. Absolutely. Tell them, I just feel like if throughout this whole situation, mm -hmm. these parents knew where these kids were, or else they wouldn't have known where to go. Right. So how you just pinpoint somebody's house? Ain't nobody sends you no location. Man. Ain't nobody sends you like, okay, this is where I'm at, mom. No emails, phone calls, texts. If you can't get in touch with your child, but you ignore, is that where to go to go get him you or been, them? You've you been knew. new for years and you years knew. and years. You knew, and you had to been getting some money for it. We already confirmed that. Matter of fact, he already said it. Yep, he did. R. Kelly said that he was paying these people. And but then the, the girlfriends got on there like, my mom knew. My mom dropped me off. My right. mom knew what was going on. My mom knew I was going to be here for right. a while. And some of the parents actually took their kids to him. Underage children, may I add. 17, 16, 15. Y'all took No, no. The first one, that 13-year-old. Yeah. The parents... Took that child to the studio with R. Kelly. Yeah. Why in the world would you take a 13-year-old by themselves to be with this grown-ass man? Why? Mm. Why? You already knew. Mm. And anything is anything is possible. Any if if there's money involved, you'd be surprised what people will do. People go will, will go to the further extent to get Even that money. Even sell their own child. They for. get that money. And I think the money dried out on R. Kelly end. I think the money dried out on R. Kelly end, and they got upset. Okay, you know, we're going to put this on blast. I ain't going to say the N-word, but we're going to put this on blast. But they didn't already had it in their head that this this was the move. This was what was going to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. Because the minute that that money dried up, they already knew, you know what? If he ain't giving me no more money, you need to give me my child, and I'm going to sit here and say it was rape, or, or you kidnapped my child because, you know... I ain't getting nothing for it, so I might as well. And then you know? one girl, one little girl changed their whole image. Changed her whole image. Look like a boy. And she really did. So you're not thinking boy. that maybe she wanted to be like that already? Mm -hmm. She didn't just get with him and be say, you know, I'm going to change my look. I'm just going to be a, a dude now. No, because there's some people that know what they want, and there's some people that don't know what they want. I feel like she knew what she wanted, and when she got with him, okay, this is what I'm going to do while I'm with him. I want to express myself. Because ain't that the one that the parents want pressure her to go to music school or something? I think That's so. That's the same girl. I think so. But but my thing is these some of these girls that he had are old enough to determine and make the decision, hey, well, you know, this man is doing this to me. He, you know, let me let me leave. Nobody is holding you there against your will. You mm -hmm. wanted to be there because mm -hmm. he promised you a music career. He promised you something. And because you didn't get it or because it's not going the way you thought it was, now all of a sudden, nah, he kidnapped me. I didn't want to do this. He hurting me. I mean, but you got some people on his side, like two. It's like two or three girls. Like, no, that's not what's going on in the house. Oh, he did this to me. He did that to me. If you got me tied up in the house and you got me peeing in buckets and stuff, right? Are you gonna hear? You gonna feel my rap? I'm not gonna be doing this. this not is in 30. 17, 18 years old. Come on, man. Nah, Come on. Nah. I feel like the parents knew what was going on, Facts. and that money got dry. Facts. And they came back and. Was they like, collected. Okay, so is you I want my child. Money? I want my child. Or I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put it on there like this. I'm gonna say you did that. I'm, and I think he's just sick. I mean, he is. But that music. I'm sorry. And even the, like it's not even just the parents knew about it. His whole team. Everybody. And nobody said nothing. This whole team knew about it. They even turned over tapes. Yep. And so it, nothing is what's being done. This ain't a secret. This ain't. It's something. not. It's not. This wasn't something that everybody just found out and was shocked about the situation. This was already something that was, you know, been happening. Everybody knew it. Mm. I mean, even celebrities, they 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 were talking about how they were in studios with sessions with him and he was with these kids. Kids. But y'all didn't say nothing. So I But y'all come after this man how many years? 18, 19 years later. Okay, he he did this to my daughter. He did Your daughter your daughter been missing for ten plus years. No. Absolutely not. I don't think it'll play you. Come on. 
No. Hold on. Ain't no it. way I'm 11, 12 years old no. and then my mom just all of a sudden just let me go with this man. They, they don't check on me. None. She already had contact with you. She was able to call you. She was able to go to the hotel where you and him were. She was there. Our killer was there. And the mama pulled up at the hotel. So how did she know where to go? Exactly. So how she ain't got no contact with you? She always knew where you was. You just did. did the she girl knew where the house she was. She knew where y'all hotel was. Okay, if you feel like you running away from somebody, how did she know to just come check in? She didn't. I'm going to go search around the whole downtown Atlanta. I'm going to find my daughter. You knew where your daughter was at. But here's my other question to this is, for these teens to leave and be gone from their parents this many years, how were you getting treated at home? What type of life was you having at home for you to leave and want to go and be with somebody to put up with something like that? But what type of parent are you for to pawn your kid off of somebody for a record deal? That's true. And you've been hearing all this stuff about R. Kelly for a long time. Your mm-hmm. baby, I was 11 years old. Them, these kids now like 24, 25. Y'all was way younger than me, six, seven years old. So how do you pawn your daughter off to somebody that you knew was doing this nasty stuff? But it's been accusations of him for years. So Years? I mean, this ain't nothing that's brand new to people, especially that know, you know, what type of man R. Kelly is. And right. It, even back to Aaliyah. I don't what? even want to bring Aaliyah in it, but you it's know. just the point that, you know... She was young. She was young. Mm-hmm. She was young. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is not this is not anything new. It's, it's It comes down to money. It comes down to being in the entertainment business, and people want to people wanna see some money coming in. People want some fame. People will do anything for people it. Will do it. Like, for real, my experience, y'all know, y'all know I'm from Illinois, and you talk to my auntie. And I ain't going to say her name on the video, you know what I'm saying? But she was like, I met him when I was three. Ball head, the ball head arcade, not the braids. And he was talking to my auntie. She had to be like 16, 17 at the time. But I was little. She like 14, 15 years older than me, so I'm little. She just turned like 45 or 44, I think. Yeah. And he was talking to her. So, what my grandma didn't have no problem with it. Why Why didn't anybody try to get some help for him or try to suggest, look, you need to sit down and get some counsel? I mean, yeah, we, granted, we don't know the whole situation. We don't know the story. We just know what we see on social media, and, mm-hmm. you know, how they put it on TMZ, the news, things like that. So, it's like, right. people who who put this out there and been, they giving full-blown um, stories and description of how he even come up to the school with high schoolers and yeah. and, and, and get kids and you know recruit them. What, how I mean, y'all letting them do that? What what was happening at that time for him to be able to still come up there and get kids from the high school? What where was the advocates at? Where was where was guidance counselors? Where was, where was what parents? was people like? They ain't your mommy or daddy. You know you can't go with him. Hell, where where, where was, was y'all at? Where was anybody? But y'all allowed this man to come do all this stuff. Now granted, R. Kelly got hits for days. And I'm just going to say this. We both have said this. I'm not going to stop listening to his music. I'm sorry. Some of his music put me in a good mood. Like, for real. Yeah. He got albums after albums after albums. Yes. I would probably, like I told her, I would probably made up a couple of them, them songs. Yes. You know very what I'm talented. saying? He's very talented. For real. Like, you can't take that away from him, but he just he has a problem. Mm-hmm. And I think that problem should have been addressed when he was young. But yeah. he was going through life trauma and situation when he was little, too. Mm-hmm. And nobody wanted to take accountability for that. Right. He lost his mom at a young age, and then for him to be, for him to be actually, for him to be actually be, what was his sister? Was his was his was his his sister? Was his his sister? It's back there in the room. Was his his what is his sister friend like? Yeah, it was his sister that was molesting him. So you being molested by your sister, you thinking it's okay to actually have sex with this young lady? I'm we not making. Now let us let us let us make this clear. We're not making any excuses for this man. None. But at the same time, people have to look into certain patterns. You know what I'm saying, friend? Mm-hmm. Certain patterns of mm-hmm. how people do stuff. Right. Like, okay, if he look, okay, I think it's okay to actually comfort a young child. You know, this and that, this and that. I don't care how much music he make. That don't mean he got it all up here. That don't mean nothing. I can sit here and write a song and be and have a hit tomorrow. I think it was. Even even judges and this this isn't the first time that this hit the court either. Let's be clear about that mm-hmm. because they already had suspicions, some sort of evidence 
of the things that he was doing. It just wasn't enough to take him to jail or prosecute. He might have had the money then to pay that shit off and, you know, not even have to worry about it. But now it's to the point where people are looking at it as though R. Kelly, I don't know, people just act like it's, it's, so shocking that oh i don't i don't understand what's what's happening it's just you know it's a lot of stuff that's surrounding the situation mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. make it seem like everybody knew about what was going on and whatever the situation is all of a sudden it popped up i think that you know what it was it was that movie that little um documentary they put out that's the one that they put out those the parts for the um okay okay the lifetime the lifetime mm -hmm. yeah and everybody but it's some people at least that feel the same way same way that we do the parents y'all had something to do with that i don't right. care what nobody say mm -hmm. if carter want to get into the disney world channel the disney and i just leave him all of a sudden just let him go to, i don't know these people but i'm going to be right there every step of the way but you're not you know, telling me i can't see my daughter i can't get in touch with my daughter i'm gonna find my son but you know they say in hollywood they be doing things that and nobody want to talk about this but we're right. talking about it today like y'all want to know what's going on in my life me and my friend we sit down and we talk about stuff and this is just something that's been bothering us like for a long time like what they say in hollywood in hollywood like a lot of people that's trying to come up and get famous and, and get to where they are, like, the things that they had to go through, they had other documentaries about people. They was even talking about Tyrese and some of the, I don't know how true this is, granted, but it's just things that people had to do to get where they are. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of these executives, they are, you know, they they nasty. They, they want to... Real nasty. Real they're, nasty. They're looking. They're looking to see what are you willing to do mm -hmm. to get into this business. Mm -hmm. What what type of things can we can we do? How can we exploit you? How can we you know make you? We want to see how far you're gonna go to be able to get that contract for this movie. Right. We want to see how far you're gonna go to be able to get this contract for that record right. deal. This ain't the first time. This this is this is just a long history of people going through these different phases or trying to get to a specific spot spot in their life to to come up mm -hmm. even look looking at b2k looking at chris yes. Stokes in that situation like look at what them boys had to go to, to to get this it's not easy for people to get these type of to, to get this type of fame and get mm -hmm. to this level mm -hmm. like they have to make sacrifices and do things that they wouldn't normally do in order to be put in that position mm -hmm. Cause, cause trying to get that money and trying to get that notoriety that they get, mm -hmm. it's what are you willing to do? Cause we gonna make you do any and everything, and it is. B two K was young boys. They was young. They I was, was twelve kids. or thirteen when they came out, so they had to be like fourteen, fifteen. When you know, they was a little bit older than me. But for you to get taking advantage of your childhood, mm -hmm. taking advantage of your manhood, mm -hmm. just to get a record deal, and these people, I would have had to pull back. Yeah. I'm sorry, like, but you know what? I can't even say that, Alicia. I, I would have pulled back myself. Right. But at the same time, you know, my family going through this, my family going through that. I need that motherfucking money. You don't know what type of situations people. I need that bread. But you never know what type of situations people are going through. They, right. they grew up in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. She from, you from SC, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm from Illinois. We grew up in poverty, but in LA, we know what going on in LA. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you got four young boys that's. Is it four? It was four. It was four See, yeah, it was four young boys trying to come up in the music industry. Mm -hmm. You had one of them that was already in the the, the forefront, mm -hmm. and the last one that nobody cared about. I ain't saying nobody cared about Raz B, but he was one of the most stuff happened to, and he came out and told his story, right. and everybody got mad at him. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, with the R. Kelly situation, the B2K situation, you got people, men in Hollywood that are big names mm -hmm. that have been taken to court. Mm -hmm. Nothing was found on them. No accusations were found on them. How? How does that happen? You know what I'm saying? Like they've been these girls that we used to, that we used to see on certain movies and stuff. Like you remember the movie Jawbreaker? You remember the movie like Scream? All yep. that stuff. These girls have came forward and said, "This man did this to me. Mm -hmm. This man did this to me. Yep. Oh, why did you wait so long? Why did y'all wait so long to prosecute R. Kelly again? We're trying to prosecute this other man because they probably got a check. So That's what I'm talking they, about. They they take and that's what we're talking about. They they have money for situations like this mm -hmm. they're gonna pay it away they're gonna 
you know, I'm going to go ahead and cut you this check so you can forget that this even happened or you even know what this was. Just just because this is what we can do. This is this is what people who are famous do. This mm -hmm. is what people, you know, these execs and people that, you know, have or know people in power. You know, when you yep. know people, you can make things happen. When now, you what got you the know money, is who you know. That's right. And when you got the money to make it happen... Anything is possible. Anything. So, just evaluate the situation. I mean, with R. Kelly, it's already set in stone. Yeah, he wrong. He did that. We know that. But at but the same time. But y'all should have evaluated that man before y'all did all this stuff. Right. He went through a lot of stuff as a kid. He did. Y'all don't want to take accountability for that. But I just, his team, they should be prosecuted too. They should. I'm sorry. But y'all y'all knew exactly what was going on. Y'all didn't try to say nothing. Y'all to try to help these girls. And I feel like the girls didn't want to get help. They did. I'm around R. Kelly. So they didn't. I'm around R. Kelly. So you know what? He, you know what? I'm around him, so I'm cool. So I'm good. I'm, I'm good. And my parents know I'm here, so I'm good. Right. And wasn't trying to leave. They wasn't, wasn't trying to leave. leave. You could have ran away. I'm you sorry. Because he went at the house 24-7. You could have broke a motherfucker. See my language. You could have broke a window. And got out. You could have did anything. You could live out the front door. R. Kelly is not the house 24-7. Nope. He's R. They Kelly. Come on now. There. Robert Kelly. <laughs> Come on now. They wanted, they to, wanted be to be there. I think they were in love with the money, mm -hmm. the sex, mm -hmm. and the crazy stuff that was going on. Mm -hmm. If you experience, like, if you experience new stuff within your, your you know, life, I'm not going to say the word because this is not from my channel, but the, the life, mm -hmm. you don't want to keep doing it. Okay, mm -hmm. I never experienced that. I like that. You know, I'm going to try right. that again. Right. You trying it with new people. You trying new things. You gonna like that stuff. And I feel like the girls wanted to be there. I'm sorry. I've been feeling like that when documentaries came out. Y'all parents y'all want to get no more money from him, and y'all felt like, okay, you know what? We finna exploit this man. We finna take this. We finna say that. We all knew the accusation that was going on. I was on the 11 when it came out. Mm -hmm. At least you probably was like 12, 13 when it came out. Cause yep. you what, were two years older than me. Two. No. I'm 29. You 30. 31. Yeah, you can be 32, right? Mm -hmm. She's about three years older than me. She was about 14, 15 when it came out. We knew what was going on. I didn't pay attention to it then. Right. Excuse me. When the new documentaries came out, you know what? I want to sit down and t I want to talk about this. And we were just talking about the day, and I wanted to bring to y'all attention. How do y'all feel about that? Like, be real. If y'all didn't mm -hmm. feel like he was wrong, I mean, like we said, he was wrong. Period. He was. He was wrong. But it's the backstory that got to be with it. Yeah, it's it's more to it than that. But mm -hmm. but we already know something. Wrong. It's something wrong with anybody who get out of jail and go back to, to doing, doing the same, same thing. Yeah. It's not that's not normal mm -hmm. for somebody to get out of jail and, and go back to mm -hmm. dealing with these girls and got all these tapes that he supposedly carry around with him. Mm -hmm. I mean that's insane, right there. That should tell you that something ain't right. With this man's mind to be able to be, you know, to do stuff like that. No excuses, like we said. No excuses, but no excuses, but, but still, it should have been something else that should have happened. It should have. I mean, they they could have put him in some sort of mental. Yeah, like you, he you can't be doing this, and you can't be doing that. Like, what are you doing? Like, nobody on this team was asking questions. Nobody was asking questions, so it made me feel like y'all liked it too. It's. They had to, Alicia, for real. Like, y'all liked it or y'all just didn't want to say nothing. Y'all liked the money that he was giving y'all. So how much time are they planning on giving him? That's that's my other question. What? I don't know. I don't know, friend. Because I, I think I heard something about him getting life. I don't know if that was. See, like. Are you trying to keep him in jail? For and I'm sorry, but that's life? too much. I'm sorry. That's, it's, that's, it's, that's too much. Because there's been a lot of people that have been. It's murderers out here that. That don't even gotta, got that much years. They got a better shape than he did. Exactly. But it's people that in, are in Hollywood. You know, I'm, I can't stress it enough. Men that are in Hollywood doing this stuff to these young girls when they were little. We know all these. We know them. We know. We've seen right. them in different movies. We've seen them. They had to get. They had to do something to get them roles. Like, you didn't you just had to. You know what? You got this. You know, you got this. You know, you I want to in my not movie. not that easy. What are you going to do for that movie role? Right. It's, and it's always been that way. If your it's parents going to sell you, or you going to sell yourself? It's just it's just a matter of how much of it are you going to take before you say something, and before this person that's been exploiting you mm -hmm. be in the news or be up on trial for mm -hmm. something that he done did because it's.
plenty of other people and celebrities and executives. It's people, it's a lot of things that we don't know about right now, but when the right situation come along, when it's something that, that has to do with some money or anything like that, like you'll be surprised what you see in the news about what happened because people are trying to get that money. People are trying, oh, so you don't want to do this? Okay, well, let me go ahead and, and tell what you've been doing to me for X amount of years. Yep. It just and that goes back to the B two K thing. If this was already happening to you, why you didn't say nothing? Because they got boundaries they have to meet within time. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to compromise your check. You don't want to compromise yeah. your success. You don't yeah. want to compromise your career yeah. by that's going it. and saying something about this person that's been helping you. He's been he he might be uh you know molesting you or sexualist whatever it is he's doing to you, but. Is it worth you going to say something and losing that career, that fame, that check? Or or should you just put up with it for so long and then it damage your thoughts and your mind and how you feel and your perception? Mm-hmm. And now all of a sudden it's, oh, well, ain't no money coming, so we need to do something. I guess we need to tell our story. And people thinking that, like, it come out after the fact. They probably been wanting to say this, but, you know, we on top of the world. You know, we ain't going to say nothing to jeopardize our music career. We ain't going to say nothing to jeopardize the rest of the members in the group. But I felt like when Raz came out and he was saying all the accusations, and you got people coming forward, you know, he did this to me, he did that to me too. Why y'all didn't say it in the beginning? Right. Was y'all this, scared or mm-hmm. was y'all just thinking that, okay, this is going to jeopardize the whole group. This is going to jeopardize my whole My career. life and, you know, what they... The people around me, like... I grew up poor. I grew up, I didn't have the money like that. He made it happen for me, so let me not throw him under the bus. You know, for me... Mm-hmm. For me and my career, let me not let me not throw him under the bus and and make this situation bigger than what it has to be because Whoa. now you in a situation where where is Chris Stokes at? Did he? I have no idea. No, like, nothing ever happened saying. to him. Nothing never happens to him. And, and they openly admitted this. These are four boys that openly admitted what he did, and he ain't even in jail. But look at R. Kelly. I'm R. Kelly. Saying. This ain't the first and time. And R. Kelly done made, y'all can't sit here and lie. He done made a lot of our lives happy. This ain't the first Y'all can't tell me I ain't put on Step in the Lane of Love and then got drunk and then felt good. <laughs> and then felt good after you heard that song. But, honey, love. Come on, let's stop. Let, come on. Ignition, because that's my song. Like, I don't, that is my Kill song. Me. It's the remix. I am friends down the kitchen. Mama rolling that body got it. Come on, y'all. Creative, talented, can sing, can write. Yeah. Can write about somebody braiding his hair. I'm in love with my hair braider. Really? He made a song about an Oreo, y'all. Yeah, he did. <laughs> like a, a Oreo, like a snack. Like, yeah. <laughs> come on, friend. That's like, what I'm real. saying. Like, it's crazy because it's just so many people that you can name and you're like, what happened with them? Tiger, Kylie. Mm-hmm. She was 16 when he started messing with her. She was underage. What happened with that? Nothing happened with that, you but should. y'all, because these are couples. And y'all know y'all, about it. Couples go. Y'all like that. Y'all. I hey, mean, we yeah, the things that we don't follow trends over here. The things that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. All up in the video, like <laughs> it's just too much going on. People in the background talking, trying to like dancing. But we just, we just, I know we've been talking for a while, but we just want to know how y'all felt about that. What y'all think? What y'all think? Let us know, because we, like, we would want to talk about this for a while, Mm -hmm. and this just so happened that we were just watching something about it, and it just popped up our interest. Mm -hmm. We just want to know. Say bye, G.